Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I think I'm just about to um, <clears throat> post this before midday, so it's still morning, hopefully, by the time I, I get it uploaded. Um, I hope that everybody woke up feeling um, restored and rested and ready for the day. And um, I'm so pleased this morning to be able to share with you um, from Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I. Send me. Um, the song that I'm going to share with you is written by a gentleman called Dan Shute. It is called Here I Am, Lord. And um, all of my um, Dominican convent uh, school friends and... Um, ex-colleagues will really really um, relate to this song because we heard this a lot as children growing up. It was actually always a song that I just absolutely loved the melody of and it always touched my heart in a special way. So a big shout out to the Dominican convent um, nuns who looked after us as we were young growing up and guided us in many ways and um, also a big shout out to anybody who who went to the Dominican convent, whether in Harare or in um, Bulawayo or anywhere in the world. So um, <clears throat> enjoy this song. It's called Here I Am, Lord. And um, I know that many Catholics will know this song fairly well.
feast for them my hand will say finest bread I will provide till their hearts be satisfied I will give my life to them whom shall I Well, my prayer for you is that you're inspired by that song and that you feel led to be used by Jesus in any way that he might ask you. Some of us are called to sing like me. Some of us are called to do um, works and to help people in very practical ways. So if that is what you feel led to do, please do it. But more importantly, listen to what God has said to you. Many times God has told me to do something and I have been a little rebellious initially at least, but I normally always end up listening to what he's told me. I'll remember one day that um, I was coming home from a hair appointment and um, it was about to rain and there was a lady that I did not know from Adam walking along the road with a very flimsy umbrella and God said to me, give the lady a ride. And I said, oh but God, I'm so tired. I have been at the salon all day and I just want to go home and sleep. And so I parked my car and then God said to me, I said, go and give the lady a ride. So I very grudgingly um, drove back out and of course I couldn't find her. So my new excuse was, well, Lord, I can't find her. I don't know where she is. Um, and he said, just drive around the corner. You will see her there. And that is exactly what happened. And I, I drove up to her and I said, hello, ma'am, I know this is a bit strange. I said, but do you need a ride somewhere? And she said, oh, thank God. I was just praying for God to send somebody, anybody to just give me a ride home before the rain really gets bad. And she didn't even live more than two minute drive away from me. So I dropped her off. I didn't tell her that I didn't really want to listen to what God had said. Uh, I didn't share that part with her, but I'm sharing it with all of you because sometimes we grudgingly do something, but if we joyfully do something, I think we will always um, reap the rewards. So, you know, <clears throat> everybody is a work in progress. I know I am. Sometimes I have good days. Sometimes I have bad days. Sometimes I have a good attitude and sometimes I have a bad attitude. And uh, so it is what it is. But let's keep on striving to improve and to, to listen to God's voice. Have a blessed Sunday, everybody. Um, and I hope that um, you are blessed just by hearing the song or maybe the testimony or even the Bible verse. And if so, please, please feel free to share it with somebody, anybody. I just want to spread the love around the world.